Welcome to this free video tutorial. We're going to talk about different symbol types. So let's say I make an oval. Let's start simple here. And I select it and I make it into a symbol. I hit F8. And I get this convert to symbol box. Now usually the default here is movie clip. Movie clip and graphic are what we're going to be talking about today. We're not going to touch button. But what is the difference between a movie clip and a graphic? I know I personally didn't know for many years, and because movie clip was the default, I just thought, well, that's what it should be. Okay, so we'll call this uh, circle, and we'll hit OK. Okay, so now we've got a movie clip symbol. Now, I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to drag this out here. This is a character pack. To scale him down to fit here, and he's a symbol. What kind of symbol is he? Well, I've got graphic. If you look in your properties bar, you can actually you you have the ability to change the type of symbol. You can put it to movie clip, okay, or you can put it to graphic. So no matter what you originally created, at you can still change it. So let's put it to movie clip. So he's a movie clip. Now, just so you know inside the symbol. I'm going to double click and go inside the symbol and you'll see the, the timeline change. Double click. Okay, so now we're in here and we see that he's made up of lots of symbols. You can see that. And it's a walk cycle. So it's going to loop. It's going to be 16 frames and it's going to go back into one. So we can put animation in our symbols. Okay, so you see it's 16 frames. I'm going to go back out to scene one because currently we're in the symbol with the animation. Let's go back out to scene one. Okay, so this is a movie clip. I only have one frame right now. I don't have any more time in the timeline. Let me just move this. Okay, so if I were to create a movie, which would be Control Enter, I can test my movie. Okay, so there we can see his walk cycle, and it's just looping. It's, it's going through those 16 frames inside his symbol. Okay, so immediately we can see well, what does a movie clip do? It's going to continuously play through, I'm inside that symbol, this animation. It's just going to loop over and over and over. Okay. Now, you'll notice that I only have one frame here. I don't have anything else, but yet the, the animation played. So let's actually add 16 frames. So I'm going to click on 16, hit F5, which is insert frames. Okay. Now, if I scrub through, I don't see him moving at all. Okay, I can't see the animation playing inside the symbol when it's set to movie clip. Okay, the only way I can see it is if I test my movie, control enter, then I can see it moving. Okay, so we know that movie clips, you cannot scrub through while you're working in Flash and see the animation play inside of it. Okay, now I'm going to just move him over here. Maybe I'll scale him down, hit Q, scale him down a little bit. Okay, I am going to now just, I'm gonna, well, we'll just call this movie clip so we know what kind of symbol is on this layer. I'm gonna add another layer and gonna grab another instance from my library and drop him in there. Okay, I'm just going to scale him up. And we'll just we'll put him near this other one. Now, this one is a graphic, okay? Because it was created as a graphic. So, we will call this layer graphic. You don't have to name your layers what your symbols are. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Okay, so this symbol is just like this symbol. It, it, if I double click and go into it, we have the same animation of him walking. So I'll go back out to the stage. So if I make my movie, hit Control Enter. There you go. Same thing, right? So what's the difference? When should you use a graphic? When should you use a movie clip? Let's go back here. Okay, so we have him here. Now, remember our movie clip, we scrubbed through the timeline. We couldn't see the animation, but watch our, our graphic. Look at that. I can see the animation. Okay? That's a huge difference right there. For years, 
I would make everything movie clips and if I wanted to have a character walking and then stop I wouldn't really know where he would stop because I couldn't see the animation inside the movie clip so I had to keep making um, these movies again and again and again saying oh I think it's right about when he hits this point on the stage you don't need to guess if you change it you click on it you can change it to a graphic all of a sudden look at this you can see you can see the animation now one thing to note when you do when you do change it you'll get different um, different controls look in your look in your properties bar here I'm clicking on the movie clip right in through here we have we have a swap button and that's about it okay now I'm clicking on the graphic look at this what is this right here loop first one and I also have play once and single frame I have more ways to control what's going on with this symbol okay so it's been set to loop so first one means it's talking about I'm gonna double click in here it's talking about the first frame in here okay so we can tell this symbol this graphic symbol just loop through this animation play it endlessly okay well what if we want to have more control over it let's say you know what I don't want this symbol to play I'll just put it on single frame now that it's on single frame it's just gonna hold on frame one of the animation inside that symbol let's make a movie and, and look okay so there is he's he's frozen there he's just stuck on uh, single frame one but our movie clip is just gonna keep going we cannot tell our movie clip we don't have any controls right here to tell our movie clip stop here loop here okay so let's go back to this graphic so what else do we have single frame if I want I can say hey hold on single frame five okay you see that change I just typed in a five here make my movie okay now he's just held right there on frame five okay so what other options do we have let's just put this back to one Hit enter and what do we have we have play once okay so what that means it's going to I'm going back in the symbol it's gonna play once through this animation and when it gets to the end it's gonna stop it's not gonna go back here and loop okay now you'll notice that I have 16 frames in the animation inside my graphic and I I've put 16 frames out here on the main stage and that's crucial you have to remember that okay so if I want to actually see it play play once and not loop I need to put some more time in here so I'll just drag down through here and hit F5 okay so now let's just scrub through let's move this up so it's gonna go he's walking and stops and then it's just held because it's set to play once okay so we can make our movie We're both walking and that one stops all right so we can say you know what play once but start on frame five and we'll hit enter okay so let's go back to one and we can see we're not on frame one inside that symbol we're on frame five so then see we've kind of offset it now these guys are walking differently or I can go back and change this and say loop five so now this whole loop the looping of this animation is not going to start on frame one it's going to start on frame five okay now now it's offset now they're not do, doing the exact same thing which is pretty cool too okay so with a graphic you have play once loop single frame you've got these controls movie clip you don't okay so you may be thinking well for cartoon animation using flash why would I want to use a movie clip well movie clips you can attach action script code to so if you're creating animations for a game um, you will need these to be movie clips graphic symbols you can't attach code to so they both have their their pros and cons um, and another thing you need to pay attention to when you if you're going to use graphic symbols is be very aware of how many frames you have out here on the stage and how many are inside here okay so if you remember at the beginning I'm just gonna take all these frames and 
hit shift F5 which is going to remove frames. Okay, I'll put this to loop, we'll just put it on one. Hit enter. Okay. Now remember there's no frames up here. We just have one frame. I'm going to make my movie and you'll see that of course the movie clip is just going to play through. It doesn't need to have all that time on the timeline. But this does, the graphic does. Okay, I've set it to loop, but why isn't it looping? Why isn't he walking? Because we have no frames out here to show it. This is, this is the difference between a graphic and a movie clip. And once you understand this, you'll be able to know when and where to use these. So in order to get this to play, I need to put the same amount of frames, which is 16, out here on the stage. Okay, so what if you already have some time and you've already put, you know, eight frames. You make your movie and you can see his arms are popping there. It's just we'll put a little bit more so you can see better. Okay, you see that jump? And you think, did I animate that wrong? What what did I do here? I thought I animated it right, but something's not playing. Maybe maybe the flash player's broken or something. No, what it is, you don't have enough frames out here. So it's going it's playing through the cycle and it's getting here. It's not finishing. It's not able to finish the cycle because you don't have 16 frames. And then it's jumping back to frame one. Okay? Watch that again. That's what's happening. You need to make sure you have enough time. So we'll go, okay, we need 16 frames. Hit F5, make our movie, and then we see everything. That really um, trips up people a lot. Do their animation inside here go back out here and things will be jumping or you know hit shift F5 they see something like this and they say oh no what's going on what did I do wrong okay well all it is is you just need to make sure you have the same amount or more same amount of symbols inside that are in here out here okay so we'll just put that to 16 okay and I really like um, using graphic symbols because what I can do is I can say well just add some more time let's say I want him to walk but I don't want him to start walking till frame 10 okay so I'll, another, I'll add another keyframe I'll hit F, F6 okay so here I'm gonna I'm gonna change this up I don't want it to loop I want it to be single frame so I want, I want him to be frozen in this position. Well, let's make it five. Okay, so there it is. Five. And then it's going to hold single frame. Then when it gets to this one, I want it to start playing. We'll just do play once and we'll start at frame five. Okay, so what's going to happen? Let's just scrub through. Nothing, nothing. And then boom, his walk cycle takes off. Okay, and that was just the addition of a, a keyframe there. So we can see what that looks like. Okay, so watch this. And again, it's, it's jumping because of the odd amount of frames that we have out here. Okay, but you can really control this. One thing that tripped me up for a long time, too. I'm just going to delete this layer. Now we have just this movie clip layer. So you have your movie clip and you say, you know, I don't want this to be a movie clip anymore. I want it to be a graphic. So you set it to graphic and you look up here and you say, hey, wait a minute. How come I can't see the animation? I just set this to graphic. What's going on? The default setting, look over here, it's not loop, it's single frame one. Don't ask me why, that's just the default setting. So remember, if it's a movie clip, okay, let's go through. You pull it out on the stage, you've created a movie clip, you have someone else's file, it's a movie clip. You say, I'd rather work with this as a graphic. You change this to graphic, but remember, there's more to it than that. Change this to loop. Now look at that. Now we can see it. Okay. Like like I said, the default is single frame one. Set it to loop or play once, whichever, and then you'll be able to see your animation. Okay. So I hope that helps you out. Um, symbols can be tricky, but you know, knowing what they do and and how they can be used and how they can be controlled is is really crucial to being able to to animate better and to not be so frustrated when you use Flash. So. I uh, hope you found that helpful.